Every website should have a favicon, or fave icon, aka that small icon you see on browser tabs, address bars, bookmarks, and so on. In WordPress, favicons are called site icons. And these icons can play a small but important role in branding your website, and not having one could seem less credible to some users. So let's talk about file formats. The two most popular are ICO and PNG. These formats have the most browser support and support transparent backgrounds for your favicon. An ICO file allows you to store multiple images with different sizes in one file, allowing the browser to choose from the options. Additionally, since HTML5, PNG is an acceptable format for your favicons and all major browsers are supporting them now. But with the release of WordPress 4.3, we don't have to worry about any of that since the customizer has a site icon option that accepts more popular formats like GIF and JPEG. Let's talk about size. Your site needs multiple favicon image sizes available in order to display them optimally in all use cases. The four most common sizes needed are generated automatically whenever you add a site icon from the WordPress customizer, so no need to stress. However, you will need to make sure the image you upload to the customizer is at least 512 by 512 pixels. WordPress will create the other sizes from the original file as follows. 32 by 32, 180 by 180, 192 by 192, and 270 by 270. Now let's talk about naming and placement. Back in the day, your file would need to be favicon.ico and you would add it to your root directory. But now with WordPress, you can name your file anything, save it in other formats and store it anywhere on your site. Now let's create your favicon. It's no different than designing your own logo. You can use a photo editor like GIMP or Photoshop, but just remember to design your favicon as a perfect square. Now go ahead and save it. And if you want a transparent background, save your file as a PNG or GIF. For the remainder of this video, I will cover three different methods to add your favicon to your WordPress website. Number one, adding a favicon with the WordPress customizer. For most, this is the only method you need to consider for WordPress. All you need is an image and WordPress will do the rest. From the WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance, Customize. Then select Site Identity and you will find an option to set your site icon. Then you can select your image from the media library or upload a new one. Make sure your file is at least 512 by 512 pixels to ensure the best quality rendering of your image for all use cases. Once you select the image you want, you'll be prompted to crop your image, but it should already be a perfect square. So save your changes and that's it. WordPress will do the rest. So now you can refresh your page to see your favicon magically appear in your browser. Number two, adding a favicon using a plugin. If you want the help of a plugin to add a favicon to your website, you're in luck. A simple search of the WordPress repository will give you some great free plugins to choose from. Personally, I would look no further than favicon by Real Favicon Generator. Install the plugin and navigate to Appearance, Favicon. Then upload your image and make sure it is perfectly square and at least 260 by 260. The plugin will redirect you to the online generator to complete customization of your favicon. When you're done, click the button, and since you're using the plugin, you don't have to worry about any code. You'll be redirected to your site and greeted with a nice preview of your icon displays. That's it. And finally, number three, adding a favicon manually. In older versions of WordPress, you can add a favicon to your site in two steps. First, access your site files and upload the favicon.ico to your root directory. Now add the following code inside the head tag. Since you uploaded your favicon to your root directory, your link should just be your website slash favicon.ico. And there you go. It's not nearly as simple as option one, but at the end of the day, it still gets the job done. And just like that, whether you used option one, two, or three, you should now have yourself a favicon. If this video helped you in any way, then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.